What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step way to use Adobe Firefly AI and Photoshop to customize your typography. All right, y'all, go ahead and open up Photoshop, type out something cool, and make sure that you're working with a black type on a white background. Once you're ready, go ahead and save that as a JPEG. So I'm gonna save that out, drop it on the desktop, and then we're gonna actually pull that into Adobe Firefly so that we can mess it up. Now head on over to your Adobe Firefly once you are there. And if you don't know how to get there, I'll drop a link in the description below. But once you are there, we're gonna scroll down to text to image, and that's gonna open up this web page, and we're just gonna type in something and hit enter. And that takes us to the text and image generator. There's a few things we need to know. We wanna make sure we're on Firefly image three, and then we're gonna change our aspect ratio to widescreen. Now let's go down a little further, go ahead and hit photo, and that's gonna drop photo in the prompt, and that's gonna make our AI generation a little bit more photorealistic as opposed to artistic. This structure is where we're gonna drop in our typography, but we're gonna do that in a second. Styles has our reference, and that's what we're gonna drop in the reference once we make it. So speaking of reference, let's go ahead and make it. Going down to the prompt, I'm just gonna type something in. And then once you have it ready to go, I'm just gonna hit generate. By the way, I'll drop this prompt in the description below in case you wanna copy and paste it. Now there is one crucial item I need to talk about when you're doing AI type in Firefly, and that is you wanna make sure that our reference photos are gonna be on a white background. Uh, this one here is kinda close to what we're looking for, but I really want the bubbles to have white all around. So we're just gonna keep hitting generate until we get what we want. This one's pretty close. All right, this one's pretty close too, so let's go to Generate Similar and see if that does something for us. Now I'm basically just gonna keep on doing this and downloading ones that I like, and I'll just put those in a folder, and then once I have everything in the folder, we can kind of go back and forth, dropping those in the reference section until we get something that we really like. Now here are a few of the options that I dropped into my save folder or my download folder. I think one of these should work for the effect we're going for. If you guys learned anything to this point, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Now that we have our reference images ready to go, we're going to go up to our structure section, drop in our typography. Once your typography's dropped in, we're going to go back to our style section drop in the style reference, which is some of the AI that we just created. Once that's in, we're going back up to our structure reference. We're gonna turn the strength all the way up. So make sure that's fully to the right. And then on our styles, visual intensity, we'll try that at the middle, and then we'll keep that strength all the way to the right on there as well. Now let's go ahead and hit generate. And like that, we're getting this really cool effect. You can see our typography getting mixed in with the reference. And once you're at this point, you can just go ahead and hit generate as many times until you get the desired effect. As soon as you find something that you like, you can go ahead and download it and then drop it back into Photoshop. And once you're in Photoshop, you can go ahead and tweak it as much as you want. Here's the piece that I ended up going with. I'm just going to play around with it in Photoshop now that it's here and then turn this into the thumbnail. Now, I hope you guys like this. I hope you learned something. I hope you make some awesome creations. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching.